Since 1970, the Albany football teams had one field and one coach. At 75 years old, Bob Ford hasn't announced any plans to walk away, but today, University Field was retired. The Great Danes will move into Bob Ford Field next year. This afternoon, hosting Central Connecticut State in their regular season finale. The Danes needed a win to guarantee at least a share of the Northeast Conference Championship last game on this field, but maybe not the final game at UAlbany for Paul Layton. The junior punter had announced his intentions to transfer for his senior year, but has talked to Coach Ford about staying put. Now today, Layton and company closed University Field in style. Second quarter, Dane's already up 21 zip. Will Fiaki swinging the ball out for Omar Osborne. 58 yards to the end zone. 28 to nothing, you all, buddy. And when the ball is bouncing like this, you know it has to be a good day. Fiaki for Cole King, and with that flashy catch, she sets up Drew Smith. The Gilderland native scored three times today, 45 touchdowns for his career, breaking the program record. The Great Danes finished the season 9 and 2, 7 and 1 in the conference, and are once again Northeast champions. That's what you're in this business for. It's called competitive athletics. You want to compete, you'd like to compete at the highest level, and you want to win if you're, if you're competing. And so this is a great group of kids, 21 seniors. I'm going to miss them tremendously, but we had a great year. So when it all comes together, you put all your blood, sweat, and tears in, it's just perfect. You know, it's just the perfect ending to a perfect career. So the Great Danes locked up a piece of the NEC crown, but to earn the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament, you already needed Duquesne to upset Wagner this afternoon, and they almost did it. Wagner survived 23-17, to so the Seahawks and the Great Danes are co-champs on the strength of their head-to-head -head win over UAlbany. Wagner gets the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. UAlbany has an outside shot of gaining an at-large bid. They'll find out tomorrow.